Hi, I'm Matt from Blue Lab, and today we'll be sharing how to clean and calibrate Blue Lab's combo meter. To get the best performance and accurate readings, you'll need to clean your probes every 30 days. You'll know it's time to calibrate when the calibration indicators have disappeared from the combo meter screen. Here's what you'll need for cleaning. Blue Lab pH and conductivity probe care kits contain everything you need to clean and calibrate your probes. Let's get started with cleaning the pH probe. First, turn the top of the storage cap counterclockwise to loosen it. Remove the storage cap and place it upright. Next, get a container with some fresh clean tap water and put in a few drops of Blue Lab pH probe cleaner. Gently stir the probe in the cleaning mixture. Then rinse it in fresh clean tap water and make sure all traces of cleaning solution are removed. If the probe is heavily contaminated, dip the soft bristled toothbrush in the cleaning solution. Gently clean around the end of the probe on the glass tip. Now we're ready to calibrate the pH probe. Press any button on the combo meter to turn it on. Press the pH button to make sure you're in pH mode. Take the pH probe and stick it in some fresh pH 7 calibration solution. Give it a good swirl to make sure you've got good contact between the probe glass and the solution. Press and hold the calibrate button until CAL displays on the combo meter screen and then release your finger. You'll see a series of flashing symbols on the screen letting you know the calibration process is taking place. The pH 7 calibration indicator will now appear on the display. You'll see the pH 4 calibration indicator flashing, letting you know it's time to calibrate in pH 4 solution. Next, rinse the probe in fresh, clean tap water. Next, place the probe in fresh pH 4 calibration solution. Remember to give it a good swirl to ensure you've got good contact between the probe glass and the calibration solution. Wait for the reading to stabilize on the combo meter. Press and hold the calibrate button until CAL displays on the combo meter screen, and then release your finger. You'll see a series of flashing symbols again letting you know the pH 4 calibration is taking place. When calibration is complete, you'll see the pH 4 calibration indicator appear on the display. The calibration indicators will be on the display until it's time to calibrate again. Rinse the probe in fresh tap water, and you're all done calibrating the pH probe. Before you put the storage cap back on, make sure you've got enough KCL probe storage solution inside the cap to fully cover the glass probe tip when the probe is inserted in the storage cap. Put it back in the storage cap by inserting the probe into the cap. Turn the top of the storage cap clockwise to tighten. Remember never to store your pH probe in reverse osmosis RRO, distilled or deionized water. These types of pure water can change the chemistry of the probe glass and cause damage to your probe. Now let's clean the conductivity probe. First, remove the shroud from the probe and put a few drops of Blue Lab conductivity probe cleaner on the probe face. You can also put it directly on the chamois. Use the chamois to vigorously scrub and clean the probe face. And you can use the other side of the chamois to wipe off any excess cleaner from the probe face. Now give the probe face a rinse with some fresh tap water. And make sure that there's no cleaner left on the probe face. Also check to ensure that you've got a, a clean, smooth film of water on the probe surface, ensuring that there's no beads of water showing up. Shake off the excess water and put the shroud back on. Be sure not to touch the face of the probe with your fingers, as you could contaminate the probe and cause improper readings. There are many PPM and EC testing solutions available on the market, but for best performance, use Blue Lab calibration solutions with Blue Lab products to ensure the highest levels of accuracy.
Now let's test the conductivity probe. Press the nutrients button on the combo meter. Take the cleaned conductivity probe and put it in fresh 2.77 EC solution. The reading should stabilize on 2.7, 2.8, or 2.9 EC, or if you're using the 500 ppm scale, 1350 to 1450 ppm, or on the 700 ppm scale, 1840 to 2030 ppm. If your readings are low, repeat the probe cleaning process again. If you're still having problems, visit bluelab.com and get in touch with a member of our Blue Lab customer experience team. Thanks for watching and happy growing.